Good day everyone, welcome to Ultra Unknowns. Today I'm back in X Plane 11 for another tutorial in the Flight Factor A350 where I'm going to be showing you how to do a cold and dark startup from absolute scratch. Now I won't be following any checklist for today and I apologize for those who do want to learn by the checklist. I will be releasing an official checklist video in the future in a few weeks time or so. But for now, I'm just going to be heading through and showing the more newbies to the aircraft just how to basically set yourself up for a very basic flight. Now, this is the first of a two-part tutorial. The second video I have ready and I'll put a link in the description too. That is going to be an autopilot tutorial. So I'm going to be showing you how to get the aircraft set up from cold and dark. And if you watch the second part of the tutorial, you'll get to see how to set up your autopilot for the flight. So let's jump straight into the flight deck. As you can see, everything is jet black in here, nothing running whatsoever. So first thing I need to do is go on to my overhead panel. You can see the BAT1, that is my main battery. If I just click that, you see everything lights up all of a sudden. That is my main battery. Now the first thing I need to do after turning on BAT1 is go over to my panel, go to ground service ground equipment and make sure that I get my external power turned on. Once that is done then everything is all set there. Now the first thing that I need to do is like most of the aircraft, in fact all of the Airbus aircraft, you need to go and remove all of the white offs in boxes. As long as you remove all of those then you're basically set up and like I said, it would not be done in this order. You would need to do it much more professionally by the checklist. But like I said, this is not to do with checklist. And this is just to go ahead for uh, people learning to fly, uh, basically. So like the A320 and the A330 and everything, you just go through and you make sure that you remove all of the buttons that say off. Also, if you hear a beep and it annoys you in the background, like the seatbelt sign turning on and off in the cabin, and this illuminates, that is just the chief flight attendant in the cabin, or your co-pilot saying, hey, it's too hot in the cabin, can you turn on the cabin lights, or stuff like that. That's only just for a bit of added realism to it. You do not need to pay attention to that at all if you don't want. So I'm going to test my internal lighting, make sure that my warnings are working as well. Yes, looks like they are, so I'll turn that back to normal. Turn on my no smoking signs, because we don't want the passengers smoking in the cabin, and I'll just turn on the basic external lights. The bottom row you don't turn on until taxiing and take off. And there we go. Now I can engage my external power. Turn on my APU bleed and my APU. Oops. So there I have just started up the APU and now as you can see once the APU has started APU bleed will be available to switch to the on position. Now the next thing that will pop up once the APU starts it will show avail there which means available uh, under the start switch once it has fully started that is what you will see. Once it has started, you will see up here the APU Gen, APU Generator, uh, showing off. You need to turn that on by just clicking the off button to power it back on. The next thing and final thing is to get the cabin set up. Turn off the off lights. And switch our ideas to nav. The ADIAs are what guides the aircraft GPS, it's what gives the aircraft its sense of positioning and everything. So if you do not set those to nav, you will not be able to use the autopilot. So that is where, will we, that is where we will leave off for this tutorial. And I have a link in the description to the next part of the tutorial, which is leaving off from exactly where we are here and programming the MCDU down here. Thanks for watching, I hope you've learned something from this.